So hello and welcome to Nose Nose. So today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at MK's new two gang rapid fix socket. So it's a double socket um, and MK calling it a rapid fix because it has this sort of waggle style. So if you're used to using this type of connector, this little waggle connector uh, for lighting and maybe extending circuits, uh, then this is the sort of style of the clamp that it has on the back with a little lever. It is so much better than the sort of screw type that you see here, uh, which is the standard MK, which we see all around us, um, which has the uh, free screws on the back. This one obviously has the clamps. So it's so much quicker and easier. It's also got free uh, on the live neutral and earth. So you can use two for your ring main and then use the other one to maybe extend out later. So it's a really good time saving device. And if you're a UK electrician, because this is a free pin um, socket, then this is something you should definitely be looking at. It has just been released. Uh, obviously, I know a lot of my viewers are from the uh, United States. Um, if there isn't something like this already out in the States, it won't surprise me if it's not released pretty quick now that MK have done this sort of style of socket. I expect to see this also in sort of single light switches if they can fit and get the room in uh, because it is so much of a time saver and, and a safety device in the fact that you're not screwing down and maybe you're not uh, questioning yourself if you screw too hard on the actual socket. So just before we go any further, just wanted to add, I'm not sponsored in any way by MK. This hasn't been sent to me. I've purchased this with my own money for a specific job. And anything that you see in the description box below will be an affiliate link, which basically means you shouldn't pay any more for it, but I will get a small kickback in the profit if you do buy through that link. With all that being said, let's get a close up of the socket and let's have a look at what we have. Okay, so let's take a look at what you get for your money. So this is the MK Rapid Fix 2 Gang UK module, as you can see. Uh, and there's the more traditional one with the um, screw fixings. And you'll notice that they both uh, line up the same. So you've basically got your live, you've got your live, earth, earth, neutral, and then your neutral on there. So they're exactly the same laid out as the old style. Um, two gang module. You've also got two screws, which you'd obviously come to expect anyway. Uh, you also have this um, gauge here, which is a 10 mil gauge. So you cut your wire and then you can actually check that you've got 10 mil uh, cut from this little gauge there. So that's quite handy once you start trimming your wires off. Obviously they need to be 10 mil for entry. Uh, you've got three of each. The earth's got this small little shield that you can see there. And they just lift up the levers like so. And then you put your cable in and then push the cable down. And that locks it in obviously and give it a tug test uh, to see if it connects but it's as simple as that for connecting these up the only thing i wish that maybe they would have done is possibly put a fourth um, wire in the center one here on the earth purely because if you want to connect your bat box up to an earth uh, and you still want to use this for adding an, another socket in at a later date so that would have been nice uh, touch for them to do maybe they will do later on maybe give you four in the center in comparison to the original bat box you can see the original one here let's hold them both side by side so you can see the actual difference uh, in thickness if there is any but i think what i'll do here i'll just spin the camera around and just lay them down flat uh, like so you can see the one on the right is the rapid fit one and the one on the left is an original mk uh, screw in type and you can see what is it uh, it's about four or five mil maybe difference in the face plates and i'm resting on the ends of the uh, quick connector there i'll just spin it around uh, and you can see yeah so it may be five mil at maximum but i'm right on the ends of the uh, clippings so at least you know there's a slight difference so I did just want to just get really close in and just show you uh, just some of the finer details on the actual opening of the gate um, and the clamp. So obviously I pointed out before you've got the screws here uh, and you've also got, you can see a bit more in detail now you've got this 10mm cable uh, strip length which I showed you earlier uh, and you can just measure up once you strip your cable back. Make sure you've got the right length uh, for entry into the rapid fit but the thing i wanted to show you on the close-up was just the gate operating we're just getting the right position here for the light so i'll just open this neutral up and you should see at the bottom uh, that the uh, single little gate just opens up uh, and ready to receive your cable as you can close it you see the actual gate close so you don't need them all open to uh, attach any wires you just do them singular uh, so obviously put the wire in and then you simply just push the toggle down the clamp down like so and it clamps the cable a single cable into that position okay so i think it's now time to move on to uh fitting these face plates to some bat boxes okay so let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do is connect one up to the 25 mil metal bat box and then one up to the 35 mil dry lining blocks uh box once i've got it connected i'm going to put the camera over the back so you see how much room's left in the bat box once you get these fitted so i'm going to open up the neutral first i'm going to open all up actually open the neutral 
open up the earth and open up the live. Obviously it's just a ring this, so I'm just gonna put two in of each. So in with neutral first, and it's as simple as just offering up the cable. You have to tilt them down slightly just to get them in the connection. So as you go down, it goes down, and then tug test and make sure it's in. Again with this one, let's get these out of the way. Second, make sure we're in focus. Camera keeps losing focus on us. Get this one in and then push down, tug test, live in. Next is the earths. So again, just make sure we're not crossing over where we don't need to cross. You can see it left this a little bit longer. The sleeve on the earth is just a bit too uh, short really, but for the sake of this video, we're not gonna be complaining. So in with the earth, clip down, tug test, make sure it's okay. Second earth, in, lock down, tug test, it's okay. So that's my earths in, get my lives in. Again, same thing. Let's just push this over to the side a bit so we can see what is going on. Getting ready for dressing the cables. So again, I'm gonna put live in now. Live, tilt down, in, click, down, locked in. Second live, in, connect it down locked in it is as simple as that obviously then you would do your normal thing what you would normally do which is just dress the cable making sure we're not catching anything within the bat box make sure we're missing out obviously on the screws which is pretty standard which you obviously if you're an electrician that way you will know what to do here and how to dress the cables to make sure we're not catching anything when we put the actual bat box in at the socket in against the bat box and obviously it'll speed this bit up, putting the faceplate screws in. Um, so that's just speed it up and then we'll get on to the next one. There we go, all secure. So I'll put the one on the, the 35mm one in this one now. Again, same process. Go through it again. Obviously you can check your 10mm against the gauge like we explained earlier. So obviously I've prepped all these already. So as you can see, they are 10mm. If I can get the camera just to focus on that bit. So 10 mil against the actual gauge that's on the double rapid double socket. Then open up our connectors like so. Starting with the neutral, let's get them organized this time a bit better. So in with the neutral, one. Might as well put them both in. Down, tug, tug, okay. Again, the nerves are a bit long, but for the sake of the video, Earth in, second earth, and obviously if you had a third earth uh, that you needed to go to to the back box then you could obviously connect it in the third one there. And then let's get the, last but not least, get the live in, tug test, tug test, live, live, earth, earth. Neutral, neutral, all good. Now I can just dress the cable up. Like it would do normally. Now we can just push it back again, making sure we're not catching anything. This is a 35 mil bat box, dry lining box, as we already said. Make sure we're not catching anything. All right, so let's get some screws in. So there we go, about one minute and 30 seconds. Obviously I'm not gonna allow for the screws going in because you'll have to put screws in a normal socket as well anyway. So overall, I was playing to the camera as well uh, and make sure I got the uh, cables in shot. So overall, a really quick and efficient way of putting um, terminating cables off. And I guarantee if you have obviously done your first fix and you are arriving in a house to do the second fix then you will have the job completed and finished off quicker than a virgin in a brothel it is as simple as that so i really hope you like this video if you did please do hit the subscribe button i'm trying to get to the thousand subscriber mark please do hit me with any comments below they are always appreciated hit the like button and hit the thumbs up if this video was helpful and thanks again for watching nose nose on youtube and i'll see you on the next one